Hey, it's Carlos. If you've been watching any of my videos, you probably know that the most important thing for a woman to do, the most important thing is to get a man to chase her. Now the problem is that for many women, he stops chasing you and then you're left wondering what the hell do you do next? Well, today I'm gonna tell you why he stopped chasing you and what to do to get it started again. Let's go. Hey, it's Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. When it comes to a relationship, the chase is everything. As a woman, you probably know this, that you need to have your man chasing you. When a man chases you, it tells you exactly how interested he is, right? Which is why it's so important in a relationship that is just starting out. But not just the starting of the relationship. If you're in a relationship that's been going on for several years, you still need him to keep chasing you a little bit, don't you? In fact, I would go so far as to say that you must keep him chasing you for the rest of your relationship, for the rest of your life together. Now, maybe not as intensely as in the beginning, but the chase does tell you where you stand with him. When a man stops chasing you, it's a recipe for disaster. It's a signal that things are not going right. And if you've ever panicked when you realize that he stopped chasing you, you're right to pay attention. Now, the first indication that something may be broken in your attraction is when your man stops pursuing you. This can happen early on in the relationship or it can happen later. So let's get into why this happens and then what to do about it. Why he stopped chasing you, the first reason is, well, you're playing a little too hard to get. In truth, most women these days don't really understand how to make themselves a challenge to a man. If I mention playing hard to get, most women think that that means game playing and they immediately go, no, I'll never do that. What they don't understand is that it's a game he wants to play. So while this is relatively rare, it is possible you just didn't give him enough clues that you're really interested in him. Maybe you didn't make yourself available enough so that he could feel like he could get a date with you. So if you turn him down a couple of times, don't be surprised if he doesn't come back for more. There's a difference between being hard to get and hard to want, as you've heard me say. If you want to play hard to get, you have to give him a little bit of promise that you can be gotten. Men love a challenge, but we don't want to play a no-win scenario. You got to give him some hope. Okay, why he stopped chasing you, number two, he's dating other people and he didn't get challenged enough, perhaps enough to keep chasing you. Look, it's always possible that he's looking at many different prospects for his heart, which to be honest, you should be doing too. Early on in your dating, the smartest thing you can be doing is to make sure that you're seeing other people. This is always the best insurance against going all in on a relationship too quickly or too early. You have to keep your perspective. That way, when you run into a man who may have already been dating another woman, you won't feel as jolted. Number three reason why he stopped chasing you is he feels like a runner up. Look, we've all dated somebody that we felt was a backup plan, you know, in case you couldn't get the guy you really wanted, right? You always had somebody on the side. These days, people have a hard time being alone, which sometimes makes us take out, well, let's call them in human insurance policies from time to time. But you don't want to keep a guy around just because you're afraid of being left alone. No one wants to feel like a rebound. So take a good look at your pattern of communicating with this guy. If you're only around when it's convenient or if you're real, not really that into him, ask yourself why you even care that he stopped chasing you in the first place. <laughs> it's funny, but we're, very often we immediately start getting more interested in somebody when they stop having as much interest in us, when they start backing off. Are you wondering if he's the right guy for you right now? How do you know if you two are even compatible? It's always possible he's seeing something that you're not or vice versa. Go find out if you're really compatible with him or not. Go take this quiz right now. Go to datingfire.com forward slash compatible or just click the link in the description below. Okay, why he stopped chasing you number four, he doesn't see it going anywhere. Unfortunately, this is one of the most common reasons that a guy will stop chasing you. He may have started out seeing a lot of potential in your relationship. It was even looking like it could be a serious relationship. Maybe even he was ready to commit. But something made him stop and rethink his situation. Now this is a good time to point something out. Almost every guy starts dating a woman with all of the right intentions, okay? He's open to the possibility of a long-term relationship. Almost every single guy is when he starts dating a woman. But men are different than women in one significant way. Do you know what it is? 
A woman is more inclined to hurry towards a committed relationship. A man hesitates and he's going to be more cautious about that. Now this is because if he makes a mistake in who he chooses, it could have incredibly serious repercussions for him, especially when it might involve children in the future. Again, he's open to a relationship at the very start and he's just watching for signs that tell him he should back off. Now, most important thing for you is to know which signs to give and which signs not to give him because if he sees signs that make him hesitate, well, then he's definitely going to back off and stop chasing you. And there's no guarantee he's ever going to start chasing ever again. Keep that in mind. Now, why he stopped chasing you number five is he can't seem to make you happy. One of a man's most powerful drives is to make sure that you're happy. Now, the reason for this is that he knows what happens if he doesn't make you happy. It's pretty obvious, right? You're going to, you're going to look elsewhere for your happiness. Now, of course, the biggest repercussion is that you might start seeing somebody else. So if he picks up on signals that you're not happy in the relationship and he can't seem to make you happy, he'll just stop chasing you which is why it's so important for you as a woman to tell him and show him how happy he makes you. This is some of the most important feedback you can ever give a guy in your relationship. Don't ignore it. Why he stopped chasing you, number six, you're a bit of a control freak. Look, we all have certain ways we like to get things done. I get it, but you also have to allow for a man to do things in his own way. Another common reason that guys back off after pursuing you is because he saw a side of you that he wasn't exactly comfortable with. Take a look at your own behavior and be very honest with yourself. If you like things done your way, your way of the highway, you've heard that, right? This is going to feel very rigid and structured to a man. Men do enjoy women who are more easygoing, more than women who are type A, okay? So see if you can lean back a little bit, relax into your relationship and be cool. Men are instinctively not interested in women who are control freaks. Hey, if you like these tips, go on, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. You can get these videos every week and know exactly when they're released. Don't miss out. All right, why he stopped chasing you, number seven, He's scared of commitment. Yes, it's always possible that this guy gets to this place in all of his relationships and he gets cold feet. And he might just be dealing with his own issues. There are a relatively small amount of men who are freaked out by commitment. It's not nearly as many as you think. You probably think it's like half or three quarters or 100%. It's not. Chances are he, this guy probably told you up front if he was not looking for commitment, okay? He probably said it up front. He's probably said something like, I'm not just, I'm just not ready for another serious relationship or I just want to go out and have some fun. Maybe you thought you could change him. Yeah, maybe you didn't take him seriously. Maybe you thought that once he got to know you, you would magically change his feelings about all this. But as it turns out, he's not interested. Now, if you detect that he's scared of commitment, the first thing you want to do is have a conversation with it about with him about it, okay? Especially if you sense that you're passing the point of no return. You've got nothing to lose at this point. If you're either going to break up or make this guy turn on to your side of thinking of, of thinking about this relationship, then you've really got nothing left to lose. And it's worth getting it out in the open to find out why is it he's not into commitment. But just remember that there's always the possibility that he can't be convinced. In fact, no man can really be convinced. He has to convince himself that you're the one he wants to commit to. This is the trick of almost every relationship that makes this, it gets to this fork in the road and can't get to commitment. In order for him to do this, to, for him to convince himself, you have to know how to trigger his desire and obsession for you. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Why he stopped chasing you, number eight, you came on too strong out of the gates. Let's just say for a second here, you met a guy and you exchanged numbers with him. You're really excited about him. And then you start texting him the day after you meet him. In other words, you start coming on a little too strong. Now this is easy to do when you're excited about a guy. You start getting eager about possibilities. You let romantic fantasies take over too soon. And then you accidentally make yourself seem too easy. And yes, this includes jumping in bed with him too soon as well. It doesn't matter how promising a guy is. You can't rush love, especially when you're probably in a hurry to figure out where this is going. I know, I get it. But remember, instead of giving it up too early, remain a mystery to him. Keep him guessing. Keep the challenge on for him. It's the only way to get him to convince himself that you're the one for him. 
Why he stopped chasing you? Number nine, you're being too nice and too agreeable. Let's face it, you want to seem like the cool chick. You know exactly what I mean here, right? The, guy, the girl who's going to be the coolest girlfriend ever. That's who every girl wants to be. But ultimately what you're doing is you're not being yourself when you do this. You're being overly accommodating just to get him to like you and to fall for you. Now the truth is that if he can't fall in love with the real you, falling in love with the fake you isn't going to work out either. Being too agreeable doesn't make you the cool girlfriend. In fact, one of the things that will get him more interested is when you disagree with him on occasion. Maybe a little bit difficult. Maybe you have a different opinion than him. Let him know, but do it in a kind and compassionate way. You don't have to be a bitch about it. You, have to be, you don't have to be difficult and disagreeable, but definitely do not compromise just to win him over. He'll see through that and yes, eventually he's going to pull away and disappear. By the way, you might be obsessing over a guy right now. If you're feeling a lot of out of control emotions, that's a sign that you're probably doing a little bit of obsessing. Now, this is not a healthy place for you. You have to get your emotions under control. Now, of course, you want to change the situation. You want to either get him back or get him to realize that this is the right relationship. But don't let trying to get him back or trying to make him realize this be your full-time job because that could really pull you into a, a spiral of depression and maybe even unhealthy behavior. Sometimes it ends up as a cautionary story where someone spray paints something evil on another person's car. Let's just not go there, okay? I'm not saying that's you, but let's be careful. You may not be able to stop thinking about this guy. You might be a little bit obsessed, but Make sure that you're always working on your own health and your own happiness. You have to take care of yourself first. That's really your priority. And one of the most important steps is to make sure you understand how men think and why we do what we do. If you want to take steps to keep this guy in your life, you got to know how to stay connected to him. Connection is absolutely mandatory. It's critical and you can't do without it in your relationship. If you know how to do it right, you don't ever have to use jealousy or tricks or anything to get a guy to come back to you. You can actually use his connection code to get him to want you all over again. Now, most women don't realize how rare it is that a man feels connection with a woman. And most often not having this connection is what makes men pull away or decide that he doesn't want to make that commitment to you. If you're in a situation right now where you want to get him back or you want to get this relationship back on track, then I've got something that can help you. It's a simple quiz you can take to find out whether or not, first of all, you're compatible, but then what to do if you are. How do you save this relationship? How do you do it? No matter what strategies you use, you want to know that there's potential to recreate the love that you once had. Go take the quiz right now. Go to datingfire.com forward slash compatible. That's datingfire.com forward slash compatible. Trust me, this is one quiz you're going to want to take. You can find out whether or not this relationship is worth saving and if you can get that commitment. Okay. Hey, before you go, if you're new here, or even if you're not, make sure you do the big three, like, and subscribe, get this great video advice every week. Number two, turn on the notifications, click that little bell icon. So you get notified when I release more of these great videos coming soon. And if you're already subscribed, please, Share this with somebody you know. Spread the word about Carlos so that women get the, the success that they deserve with men. Oh, and number three, of course, comment below. Did you agree with these things I was telling you about? Is there another video you want? Do you want a part two of this video? Well, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget, wait a few more seconds. I'm going to put a couple of recommended videos. All right, YouTube is going to put them up there, but they're still good. Watch them. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.